To my left, we've got one of the biggest pop stars in the world, one of the biggest football stars in the world, and Ramesh. It's not boring, Frank Lampard, and as I've just said, it's Ramesh. Well, we're very happy to welcome Niall here to play to the whistle tonight. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, you're, you're a big sports fan, aren't you? Yeah. So Thank who's you. your who's your team? Derby County. Okay. You're also a, a bit of a Chelsea fan, aren't you? Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a Chelsea fan through association. Right. Uh, I had my knee operated on last year. Yeah. And then uh, I ended up doing my rehab at Chelsea's training ground for four months. As you do. So that's, <laughs> that's what you do. When you're not a gaffer, not me. <laughs> Is that how you two met then? Yeah, so that's how... Uh, well, actually, no, we, uh, we met before. No, that was how we met, wasn't it? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> It was a memorable day. moment. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Was this that day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh look at Rom, his little heart breaking over there. <laughs> Has Frank invited you down yet? No. <laughs> I would smash my knee into pieces if it meant I could hang out. <laughs> so, now, do you play football as well? Yeah, I did, and then I just kept this. I kept my knee every time I kicked the football, so I can't really do that anymore. What position were you? I'm the centre midfielder. Like oh. the boss. Just as good as him as well. Were you? <laughs> and I sat there, he lit up our training ground for, what, four months? Four months, yeah. Yeah. He kept was... smoking, did he? You were recently Rory McIlroy's caddy. Yeah, very bad well. about that. Why? Why are you so bad? Do pray tell. Oh, please roll the VT. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will. <laughs> In his own right, he is the star. But for once, Niall Horan was the fan. Caddying for the world number one, he seemed a little overawed. Hi, Rory. Hi, Niall. Thanks very much. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> it's a bit slippy. These, imagine what it's like playing golf out of these times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I've done eight really good holes, and then I just <laughs> it all over there. <laughs> What, right, Foggy, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one! <laughs> All right, go. Get under it, Foggy. Oh, oh, get under it. You can only go in one direction. <laughs> OK. Right, come on. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Oi, no, mind you don't break your hair. Uh, <laughs> oh, magic. Look at this and tell me which sporting event this girl is getting excitable about. Has your child got a sherbet addiction? Seek help on the Sherbet hotline. <laughs> Haven't got a clue. No a idea. Oh, uh, it's, it's a pop band. So you scream at the pop band. No, that's that's Leeds winning away at Bournemouth. That. Correction, <laughs> <laughs> we all shared. That is unacceptable behaviour. I hope for her sake nothing bad ever happens in the house because her neighbours aren't coming to help. <laughs> she's just watching telly again. <laughs> Any ideas for me to pass it over to the other side? I think she's screaming at a pop group, but it's probably this guy and his mates, I reckon. You reckon? You're very, very close. Oh, hang on a minute. You're half there. She's screaming at a pop band, One Direction. Yeah, yeah. 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 What sporting event could it have possibly have been at? Was it a World Cup? A World Cup. No. Did you perform at a big sporting World event? Cup. Probably the biggest one in the world. Oh. Well you shot. are joking. The Welsh Elf and Snooker. <laughs> Wow. I'm going to pass it. I'm really sorry. Well, he obviously knows, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> when he what gets it wrong, what do you <laughs> I reckon it was the closing ceremony of the London 2012 Olympics. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> this girl was going mad at one direction.
Hamilton forming the London Tennis Club and moving to Putin. So, Noel, obviously the big news recently is that your fivesome's down to a four. Yes. How's things been since the departure of Zane? Yeah, it's been good. We've been just in the studio at the minute writing yeah. for the next album, so... Yeah. Just well, if you're looking for a replacement, then I know Ramesh is a bit keen, aren't you? <laughs> I'll bang up for it. I don't think people even notice. <laughs> made of them. Surely there must be some One Direction dolls floating around out there. Yeah, there's plenty of them. Are they any good? Oh, him? oh yeah. what? wow! I don't think they've seen a picture of me either. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Yep. <laughs> they put the picture there just to show you how shit the doll really is. <laughs> That's official One Direction merchandise. I could never say that. <laughs> I'm going to let you feast your eyes on an amazing goal. When the ball crosses the line, I will blow my whistle and you have to shout goal for as long as you can. So, Frank, who is representing your team? No. OK. And Bradley, who's doing it for you tonight? John. John. Yes. OK, good. I've heard him, he's good. You don't have to, you don't have to do this in key or anything, though, do you? You don't have to harmonise. Just scream. You get extra points if you do. Right. OK, so Niall and John, are you ready to scream your way to the top of Come our on, series John. leaderboard? OK, here we go. It's more his area of the field. It'll come for that. You and Frank are good friends, but does Frank know what you said about his fiance, Christine? Oh, he knows. <laughs> Just to remind everyone here, this is what you said. I'm in love. Christine is amazing. So amazing. I love her. <laughs> she is my NBF, my new best friend. She is utterly incredible. I also think she's gorgeous. I like the older woman. <laughs> It's so great until the last one. <laughs> Is that one of your new songs? In terms of liking older women, legally you would pretty much have to. <laughs> I mean, legally. <laughs> What's your favourite One Direction song, Ronnie? My favourite is. Yeah. Um, is, uh, <laughs> is, you might have to this watch. is the direction, <laughs> is, that, is that one? I love them all. I, I do. Yeah, but which one? <laughs> uh, the one where they're talking about the girl, girl. that they, they want the girl, yeah. but she doesn't love them back the same way, and then it's all <laughs> sort of heartbreaking and that, and they don't know what to do, and it's sort of agonising. It's all right, because I've seen all his DVDs as well, so that's fine. <laughs> well, I haven't done a single one, mate, so... Uh, <laughs> So thanks a lot for kicking me in the balls twice there, mate. Tell you what, you're yeah, proving to be quite the prick, Nile. <laughs> what do the initials on boxer Floyd Mayweather's cap stand for? <laughs> yes. Total Belen. <laughs> Oh, let's talk about your fans, because um, they're quite incredible. Yeah. Um, they're very dedicated to the band. What's the weirdest thing that you've been sent from a fan? One time we got sent, like, a, a little turtle. What, a live one? Yeah. Thank you. And he was just in this little, like, Tupperware box <laughs> in water about that deep. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that was weird. That um, is weird. How long ago was that? Uh, about two years ago. Two years ago? How long? Don't ask the next question where he is now, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, where is he, mate? 